What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, once again, another like Sugo Fest, uh, I guess like roadmap as to the upcoming Sugo Fest that you guys should be looking forward to. Now, since the Luffy and Katakuri event has begun, where we had the Snake Man and V2 Katakuri Sugo Fest, uh, I know that a lot of the free-to-play people out there were definitely spending their gems on the Sugo Fest, as you guys should have been, and I really hope you guys got good pull on those Sugo Fest. But now that that has concluded, many questions have been flooding in about when is the next Sugo Fest we should be saving for. So in this video today, I'm going to be going through basically like what should be coming in the order of release. Now, obviously what I say in this video could be changed with any given day. We don't have full confirmation as to when stuff is going to be released. We can have a very, very fair assumption as to when stuff is going to come out, but this is by no means confirmation as to when stuff is coming out. This is just my own personal, I guess, thought process of what I think is going to be coming out. Now, I might be correct. I, I most likely am going to be wrong in some different cases here, but I know that for sure the next big Sugo Fest that is going to be coming out, or uh, well, the next Sugo Fest, uh, including like a new legend, should be the Carrot Sugo Fest, as we do know that uh, Treasure Map Nami was confirmed in the game news. We can actually see the silhouette of the character, and with that was the release of Legend Carrot, as we saw when we got Treasure Map Kaido, that pretty much confirmed we were going to get V2 Katakuri and Snake Man, and that ended up happening. And it's happened time and time again, you know, whatever Treasure Map character comes out, typically the legend that was released with that Treasure Map on Japan comes out with Global. There are different there are different situations where that hasn't happened, namely with uh, version 3 Sabo and Neko and Inu Dual Unit, but here we are. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So as I said, the first uh, legend that should be released, uh, that is a new legend, after what we are, where we are right now, should be this gal right here, Legend Carrot. Uh, I really cannot wait for this Sugo Fest to come out. I know many of you guys out there, I know some of you guys out there even even skipped version 2 Katakuri Sugo Fest for this Sugo Fest. So hopefully you guys out there that did end up doing that, I really hope that that pays off for you. Um, but yeah, Legend Carrot is such a great unit. Comes along with very, very good batch characters as well. And I think that this is going to be a character that many of you guys out there are probably going to want to have. She's a really great unit that allows you to speed farm content very quickly with very high damage multipliers and also has a special ability that allows you to rewind your specials as well as giving you beneficial orb enable and a two times orb boost. There isn't really much wrong with this character, but you know, after the 12 turns of her using as a captain, she basically becomes useless. But Anyways, uh, she's really, really good. I've got some uh, Reddit pages up here, which was uh, how the Sugo Fests were released on Japan. Now, more likely than not, is going to be a little bit different from when they actually come out to Global. But this gives you guys a fair assumption as to what you guys should be somewhat expecting for these Sugo Fests. So for the Legend Carrot Sugo Fest, it said that it was all gold or better. Now, the thing about that is, is on Japan, uh, a lot of their Sugo Fest actually includes silver posters. So for this specific Sugo Fest to only have gold, that's actually pretty big news. Also, only Fighter, Slasher, and Cerebral Legends could be pulled. I like that they do this, and I really hope that they do this more often. It does restrict the amount of Legends that are able to be pulled during the Sugo Fest, which means that you have a higher chance to get characters that you specifically want to go for. Also, a big thing for this Sugo Fest, that Carrot was the only rate-boosted legend uh, in the Sugo, which means that if you did get a red, the highest chance character that for it to be was actually Legend Carrot. To my knowledge, I might be wrong there, but for Carrot to be the only one rate boosted, that kind of means that she should be the highest rate legend to pull. Uh, also, it says uh, Wipe It Marker will be available because obviously uh, only one side of Wipe It and Marker is a fighter, so that makes sense there. Uh, and then it says the new batch will be boosted against Colosseum Magellan. So that also means that Colosseum Magellan is likely to be arriving with the release of the uh, Legend Carrot Sugo Fest. And uh, we, we, should, we usually get the, uh, the new Colosseum units arrive towards the end of each month. Uh, which also falls in line with what I have on the side. I've got a notepad on the side here, which uh, has like a timeline schedule of when stuff should be releasing. And that does kind of line up with uh, with where I think that uh, Legend Carrot will be coming out. Uh, and it says, the 11th poster for the 2nd, the 4th, and the 5th multi is guaranteed to be a new character from the batch. I sincerely hope that this stays the same when it comes to Global. And also, I hope this stays the same when it comes to Global. The 11th poster on the 3rd, the 6th, the ninth and the 12th multi is a selected pool legend. You could only pull these legends from the uh, 369 12th multi. And then the 15th multi is an even more restricted pool as well. 
So I really hope that that maintains uh, true as well. And there's four new rare recruit characters, Stussy, Opera, Galette, and Bava Royce. Uh, all of them are kind of useful. Barbara Royce isn't really, like, he's not all that. But these three, in particular, are fantastic rare recruit characters. So this is where I think uh, Legend Carrot uh, will be coming out. I think she's going to be coming out towards the end of June. So this is what I've got here on a notepad. I've got more information below here. But obviously on the 17th of June is when the Luffy vs. Katakuri event ends. And then late June or early July is when I expect the Karatsugo Fest to come out. So probably the final week of June or maybe the first week of July is when I expect it to happen. And then when we move on to into July, the middle of July should be uh, about, around about the time of the release of Treasure Map Nami as well as the Treasure Map Sugo Fest. Obviously the Treasure Map Sugo Fest brings along Treasure Map Rurika characters. No new legend was released with Treasure Map Nami. Um, but yes, this is what I expect to be happening in July. Now, when we think about that structure that I just said, I said that uh, it was going to be July was going to be the release of Treasure Map Nami. Now, one thing that's really big on the global game that isn't a thing on the Japanese version of the game is the French anniversary. Now, the French anniversary for One Piece Treasure Cruise is like the final week of July or the first week of August. That's typically when the French anniversary Sugo Fest goes live. Now, French Anniversary Sugo Fest is a massive celebration. Typically, it's a double legend rate Sugo Fest. It might even be a higher legend rate. We'll have to wait and see. But typically, double legend rate, all gold, uh, and really, really great rate boosted characters. It's pretty much like an anniversary style Sugo Fest, as we all know and love. Now, the thing about this is, if we look at the structure of the legends that we need to be receiving, after Carrot, in, in line with the release schedule of Japan, the next character that we technically should receive after Carrot should be the dual unit Bato and Cavendish. Now, I do think that they will be arriving, but not on the French anniversary. The next, uh, the next legend after that is Sanji and Judge. Now, when Sanji and Judge released on the Japanese version of Treasure Cruise, it was actually a double legend rate Sugo Fest. Now, because of that, I do personally believe that Sanji and Judge will be our French anniversary Sugo Fest, which would mean that Bartu and Cavendish will be getting a delayed release, likely going to be at the end of August. So that's kind of like what I think here. Now, Sanji and Judge, they're fantastic. They are probably arguably the best powerhouse captain in the game. 4.25 attack. Uh, just an amazing character, man, with a special ability as well that's just so goddamn good. Two times attack, two times all boost to powerhouse, and reduces paralysis by five turns. Um, pretty, pretty good, uh, with a switch ability that's also very, very nice. Changes own orb, including block into tandem, which is going to be considered beneficial as a captain, and boost chain multiplier by 1.25 for one turn. Yeah. This character is great, and also came along with uh, some new batch characters as well. I've got the Sugo Fest on a Reddit page here. Uh, so yeah, it was a double uh, double rate up in terms of legends. The third multi pull was a guaranteed legend. The sixth and ninth was a rated up legend, and twelfth and fifteen was a rated up legend with max special level. Obviously, you've got a bunch of different legends boosted on each part of the Sugo Fest, and that was about it. But yeah, it was a double legend rate Sugo Fest along with all of the new German characters, and all of the German characters are very very nice to have as well. Uh, so yes, I do think that it makes a lot of sense for them to release this as our French anniversary Sugo Fest. So because of that, it means that moving on into that month of August, our treasure map for that month should technically be uh, treasure map smoothie and oven with the release of Cracker, because that would fall in line with the rest of the releases, meaning that we have basically the full powerhouse related stuff with the V2 Germa and Cracker, and then using those characters against smoothie and oven treasure map would make a lot of sense. And that's what I do personally believe is going to be happening. Now, uh, Legend Cracker is... I think it probably is easy to say that he's probably the best or second best subunit in the entire game. One of the best specials ever. He gives you really great ore manipulation. He will go ahead and say that if you have fighter, slasher, shooter, or striker as your captain, then he's going to give a 1.1 chain multiplier boost. To put that into perspective, uh, V2 Shanks is a 0.9 chain boost. V3 Whitebeard is a 0.7 chain boost. This guy is a 1.1 chain boost. That is insane. And also, if your captain is free spirit, cerebral, powerhouse, or driven, you get a you get a color affinity boost. A 1.75 color affinity boost for multiple turns. 
Like, this guy is amazing. He's one of the best subs in the game. But with the amount of damage he just provides for your team, just, uh, it's insane. And uh, with that Sugo Fest as well, I've got that up here again on another Reddit page. Uh, with this Sugo Fest, it was pretty much your typical treasure map Sugo Fest. Um, last one to post a reach, multi is guaranteed to be gold or higher. Well, for global, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, and uh, is silver rate reduced to 30%? Yeah, get out of here, Japan. Uh, pool mechanics, 30 gems for the first multi. Second multi, pound is guaranteed. So pound is the uh, treasure map rare recruit character here. 369 is a guaranteed legend. 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Cracker and Jinbei are uh, rate boosted on the last poster. Jinbei is also one of the treasure map rare recruit characters. And Cracker being boosted, it says, it says rate boosted on one of those multis, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder if they're going to bring that to global. Or what would be more interesting, similar to treasure map with Zephyr's release, if they made Cracker guaranteed. Bro oh my god. If they made Cracker guaranteed, I would go in for Cracker because he's just that good. He is that good. And then also, they also had Jinbei guaranteed on the 13th multi. I think for global, that'll probably be five multis. Uh, so I really like that they make it more uh, easier, more accessible for global players to pull the treasure map rare recruit characters. And then, as I said, uh, when we have August basically dedicated to the French anniversary with V2 Germa and the Cracker Sugo Fest, what I personally believe is going to be coming in late August or early September will be the Bartu and Cavendish Sugo Fest that was delayed because of the French anniversary, which is going to be this guy right here. Bartu and Cavendish, the best driven captain in the game with a very powerful, probably the best switch effect in the game or arguably one of the best switch effects in the game and a very powerful stally and highly damage output uh, special ability as well. Uh, and then that also should come along with Treasure Map Doflamingo. Uh, and the thing about it is, is that Treasure Map Doflamingo actually debuted V3 Sabo on Japan, uh, where at this time we already have V3 Sabo on Global. So I really hope that they don't screw it up once again, where Sabo is not a high rate boosted character in that Treasure Map. I really hope that they do change that because they really screwed us up during Treasure Map Shanks. Um, but yeah, that should be coming in mid-September. So th that's my assumption for what's going to be happening. So basically what I got to say here to you guys is what should you be saving for at this point? Obviously, we do know some of the other legends that are coming out, but I'm not really too comfortable in trying to assume when they are going to be releasing. But I believe that for the next three months or so, this is what we should be looking at. They might throw a curveball at us and give us a, like a global first legend or something like that, or a simultaneous worldwide release legend. That would be pretty hype. But we don't know. Maybe they might reveal another legend in the uh, French anniversary. Maybe they might have a global first batch. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see for that. But I hope that it's going to be something exciting. Um, but in terms of what is the next Sugo Fest to save for, definitely it's going to be the V2 German batch, as it is obviously a double legendary Sugo Fest, as I said. However, saying that, uh, another legend that a lot of people are considering saving for is Luffy and Law. Now, obviously, this is the best legend in the game with a 4.5 universal attack boost, a 2.5 times universal orb boost. He is, without a doubt, the best legend in the game. And understandably, people are considering saving their gems for that. The only thing I have to say to that is, is we don't know when they're coming out. We actually don't have a timeline or we, we can't even really make a fair assumption as to when they're coming out. Likely towards the end of the year sometime, like November, December, maybe earlier. I'm not really too sure. But they are the best legend in the game. And, you know, you could definitely not pull for a long time and save for that. But that's really up to you guys. But putting that, I would say either Luffy and Law or the V2 Germa Batch are the two next big Sugo Fest that you guys should be saving for. So we'll have to wait and see when the, when this actually is going to be released. But, yeah, it's going to be a long time before it comes out to Global. But anyways, guys, I really hope this, guy, this actually, you know, gave you guys some information and insight as to what should be coming out uh, within the next couple of months on One Piece Treasure Cruise global if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video